Chapter 2 Water and Air Today, water covers about 70% of our planet. Billions of years ago, Earth's surface was dry and nothing lived here. Earth's atmosphere was also different. It had lots of carbon dioxide and other gases, but no oxygen. How the Oceans Formed At first, there wasn't any liquid water on Earth's surface, but there was lots of water vapor in the atmosphere. This water vapor came from inside the planet when volcanoes erupted. When Earth cooled down, the water vapor condensed and formed clouds in the sky. Then it started to rain. After millions of years, liquid water covered most of our planet's surface. Discover! Some of our planet's water came from millions of icy meteorites. When the meteorites entered Earth's atmosphere, the ice heated up and changed to water vapor. Oxygen About three billion years ago, something amazing happened. Living things appeared on Earth. Some of the first living things were tiny blue-green bacteria. These bacteria grew in shallow pools of warm water, and we can find their fossils today. The fossils look like rocks with unusual shapes, and they're called stromatolites. Blue-green bacteria use sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to make their own food, like plants do today. The blue-green bacteria also produced oxygen, and after millions of years, there was lots of oxygen in Earth's oceans and atmosphere. Today, the air that we breathe is about 21% oxygen. We couldn't live without it. Salt water Today, the water in our oceans and seas is about 3.5% salt. Do you know why? When rain falls on land, some of it goes into lakes and rivers, and then into the oceans. As the water moves, it picks up salt from the ground. When the water goes into the ocean, it carries this salt with it. After many millions of years, this has made our oceans salty. Some lakes can be very salty, like Lake Asal in Djibouti in Africa. In this lake, the water is more than 35% salt, and no plants or animals can live there. The salt water comes from underground hot springs. When the hot water evaporates into the air, it leaves the salt in the lake. Fresh water Only 3% of Earth's water is fresh water. About 69% of this fresh water is frozen in polar ice, snow, and glaciers. About 30% is in underground caves and aquifers, between the rocks of Earth's crust. The other 1% is on the surface, in rivers and lakes. One of the largest aquifers in the world is the Guarani Aquifer in South America. It covers about 1,200,000 square kilometers under Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay, and Uruguay. In this aquifer, there are about 50,000 cubic kilometers of water. That's about two times the water in all the Great Lakes in North America. Discover! Scientists say that there's enough water in the Guarani Aquifer for everyone in the world to drink for 200 years.